Hi, it's me, Kennelly. Um, we're back. I'm doing things. Uh, so if you remember last time, we opened up the Legacy Evolution Rise of Tyranny 2-pack. Um, and that was from Amazon in a Hasbro shipper box. Now we have another Hasbro shipper box. I think I know what this is, but if this is what I think it is, it shouldn't be here yet, theoretically. But we'll, let's open. Uh... Come on. Come on. Let's open. Hashtag let's open. What a wonderful quote. Let's open. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So if we open this up, it is the Humble Origins 2-pack. Coming way earlier than I thought it would. Uh, so this is the other uh, IDW 2-pack. Uh, this is the one that is uh, Orion Pax and Shockwave. Orion Pax looks to be the most disappointing of the set just because he's got so little influence uh, from the comic he's based on. It's really just the torso design, but he's way smaller and his head is weird. Uh, but it's whatever. I'm mostly buying this for Senator Shockwave. Uh, his man, Senator Shockwave, is such a good story. Uh, so yeah, let's go over the box. At the front we have... Uh, Senator Shockwave being like, hey, look at, look at this. Let's see if I can back up the camera a little bit. So hopefully it can show up properly. There we are, yeah. I can see a little bit of, like, bottom border, but it's fine. You can see Senator Shockwave being like, oh, do boo 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 point, point in my chest. Uh, and you can see Orion Pax looking at his ass and was like, what the fuck do I do with this? And you can see someone particular in the background. I don't know who, though. Uh, and something you can do is if you have both Humble Origins and... Legacy, or Rise of Tyranny, uh, sold separately. Uh, the packages, they sync together. Uh, I actually kind of like having it slightly turned inward like this. Uh, that's kind of neat, actually. Yeah, but yeah, they, they, the packages sync together, which is nice, since they are both, uh, from the same subline. But getting on with the packaging... Legacy Evolution, it says at the top. Uh, sorry, cam oh, camera stuff. Back in order. There we are, so yeah. The top says Legacy Evolution. You can kind of see a special little Nova Prime. On this side, it's part of the Legacy Evolution box art, which now I have both halves of as well. So you see, it works like that. Um, the other side has a bit of uh, Rat Bat. A little bit of Rat Bat. Bottom. Has Legalese, you know, top Legacy Evolution. On the back, it shows the two figures in their main modes and their alt modes, which is neat. A Humble Origins 2-pack, 20 steps, 15 steps. I've never had Siege Hound before. So this is me trying out the Siege Hound mold. But anyways, without further ado, let's uh, get these figures out of there. Gosh, diddly dang packaging. Come on. Come on. Come <laughs> There we go. So, if we move the box to the side. Oh, it's got like a front little bit. Weird. So it's got a front little bit, and then you open it. What the? He's packaged in vehicle mode. He's packaged in vehicle mode. What the fuck? I like showing them in robot mode. Well, there's his head. Let's figure this out. Can I figure this out? Oh, hmm. That means you're probably in alt mode, too. Let's get you open. Yeah, that's weird. The other one was packaged in robot mode, if you'll remember. Uh, but, yeah. So this is uh, Shockwave's alternate mode. Uh, it's like a jet thing. It's the Tetra Jet mold. <sighs> Do I remember? <sighs> I think I remember. Uh, let me let me cook. Uh, give me a sec. Still not pinned in, but that's fine. Uh, that's how this mold is. That's like the one kind of awkwardness of this mold. Ah! Let me plug that back in. I'm going to work on transforming this. Uh, so how's your day? Uh, I'm going to be a bit busy. Uh, I have some scripts I'm working on, but also I've got some travel I'm doing. So I'll be a bit busy, but we'll deal. We deal. Like we always do. Um, hopefully we'll get new content out for you. Uh, I've got a plan, and hopefully I can stick 
to that plan. Now, I, I get why they're using this mold <laughs> for this. Okay, let me... It is good mold. Uh, come on. I just gotta get this head out. Come on. Don't be an asshole. I'll just swing you down. Uh, you know, if you don't have this Starscream mold, uh, pick it up. The uh, Siege Tetrajet. It's a hell of a mold. And this torso is... Uh, there we are. Okay. Come on. Swivel. Swivel for me, baby. There we are. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, while you do that, get a good look at uh, our impacts. This is not a great vid video, but we deal. We, de we deal with bad videos sometimes. As long as I'm not sick or whatever, and I try to record a video, and it turns out so poorly that I gotta put it on my side channel. Because uh, <laughs> that happened. Uh, come on. Come on, asshole. Jesus Christ. Uh, give me a sec. I, yeah, again, I am sorry. I hope you do not mind, but... Uh, dry commentary. But yeah, I was not expecting this to come as soon as it did. Uh, it did say it was coming in August, uh, which I took for much more of a fact than it turned out to be. Uh, and then Tetra Jets just are you open up the arm. Uh, you open up like. Yeah, th this is a good mold. Uh, I'm gonna probably just. Probably just get Shockwave transformed, and that'll be it. I don't really need Orion Pax transformed quite yet. I mean, I'll need it for the uh, thumbnail, but that'll be about it. Oh, he's got painted hands. That's weird. That's weird, but I kind of like it. Um, yeah, I do have Siege Shockwave as well, uh, which is very funny. I can evolve him or whatever. For some reason, they haven't done, like, a new Shockwave in a while. <laughs> I mean, that mold is good, but, like... I don't know how many people have it. Here we have Senator Shockwave. He's a Tetrajet uh, from the Siege Tetrajet mold, which is a generally good mold. Uh, I understand some people will have issues with it. I'm gonna get this last bit of accessories here real quick. Yeah, it's really odd that they packaged it in vehicle mode, compared to, at least compared to last time, you know? Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, his arm wings. He has arm wings. Uh, I guess he also, is this gun his? Um, I need to take stock real quick. Um, is that gun his? No, that's also Pax's. Where do your wings go? Uh, got it. Okay, I know where his wings go. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, sure. As far as any, anybody will be able to tell, they're the same wing. Uh, so yeah, this is Senator Shockwave uh, in his robot mode. He's a senator. He doesn't have weapons. And he's a good character. And I like this, the appearance that they based it off of. I, I, I hope they do another, like I guess, repack of this just in his other colors from IDW. Because he has like two color schemes throughout the entirety of the comic run. Which is very funny. Uh, but yeah, that's a very good Senator Shockwave. It's got all the detailing and everything. It's wonderful. Now let's... While you guys admire Senator Shockwave, let's listen to me, uh, fumble with, ha, uh, Orion Pax. So I can show you him as well. Um, these videos I do no editing for, if you couldn't tell. Um, because I am lazy. Okay, so you flip him around, straighten out his arms, go here, you flip these up, these little... Okay, where is that? Uh, oh, you flip these up. Those are, like, feet parts. I see. Sorry, this is gonna be dry. But yeah, look at, uh, Shockwave. I, I love the blue. It's not fully coming out on camera, what his blue is. But it's, like, this nice light blue. It's very pretty. I like it. I mean, plus, it's... It's the Siege Tetrajet mold, which I just love. I haven't gotten enough of them. I really just have Starscream, unfortunately. Just because of the timing of my collecting, uh, I was only really able to get pick up Starscream, and that was about it. Uh, I was able to get the other two like main uh, season one seekers, but uh, out of 
the Orthrise Mold, uh, which I don't think is as good, like nearly as good. Um, I mean, I guess my opinions line up with the uh, Dr. Lockdown reviews pretty well, so if you want to see my opinions, check out that review, I guess. Uh, oh, those are the legs. Yep, those are the legs. Alright, I see. We have like a roll cage on his back or something? What the fuck? Okay, so, cup. We're doing a bit of cup. We're doing a bit of cup. Because I... I I, I own a Titan's Return cup, uh, for some reason, but in Orion Pax colors, which is very funny, uh, that, well, that, like, yeah, I own two versions of Orion Pax, uh, like, damn, do I wish that this one was more in line with the, um, comic that his box partner is from, but it's fine, uh, I'm not bitter at all, uh, but, yeah, it's a bit annoying, but... Yeah, this is gonna be the boringest video ever. 11 minutes of just static frame stuff so I can just show you these darn robot modes. I usually don't do this, but I like showing the robot modes over the alternate modes. Uh, but today you're getting everything, apparently. So does that stay there? I, I guess that stays there. How does, how does the roll cage work? Are you supposed to... Oh, you fold in. Okay. You fold in and become the back. Gotcha. And then... You close that out. Seal it in place. Uh... Yeah. Uh, there we go. And with that... We have... Orion Pax, who's an amalgam of, like, a basic Orion Pax... Uh, and the IDW, uh, like, uh, James Roberts version, the, uh, like, the, whatever the fuck, which is mostly seen through the, uh, torso design, uh, as you can tell, hopefully. And then he also comes with two weapons. He comes with this gun, which I believe was Hound's, uh, from Siege Hound, yeah, from Siege Hound, I'm pretty sure. Comes with this little, like, Gatling section. Ah, uh, jeez. Um, I'm gonna put it like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Go in and stay in, you freak of nature. You go in like, no, you don't go in like that. You go in like that, come on. Uh, but yeah, that's the appeal. Right, we'll just leave it on the back. Yeah, that, that'll be how you work. Uh, because it also has a 5mm port. And the other one is the axe which is styled after, after the Thrilling 30 axe, which is a pretty good axe design, all things considered. Uh, put his hand there, and there we have Orion Pax, the uh, humble little data clerk, uh, which this is probably my least favorite part of a lot of this set, purely because he's just a little bit off for what I'm looking for in my collection. I just got to get that MMC one at some point. Uh, but yeah, that's the Humble Origins 2-pack. Um, sorry this video was a bit long and boring, but, uh, hey, uh, I did not expect this to come in the mail when it did, but it did. Uh, so yeah, if you want more content like this, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, again, liking, commenting, uh, to do that to let me know if you want a review of this set. It would probably be done with the other set as well, do a four-part mini-series or whatever. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, unboxing, do all the YouTube stuff, and I'll see you next time for whatever the heck I choose to do. Bye-bye!